once rule sets are created, it's inevitable that they'll be required to be edited or extended. We will introduce the process of manipulating existing rule sets, allowing you to extend them with additional new rules, or in our example, utilizing rules from existing rule sets. Start by loading the model called rule sets saved from the previous video. To modify an existing rule set, load the rule set you want to extend or edit from the checking layout. Access the checking layout and close the to-do list if it appears. Click Add Rule Sets. The dialog offers additional rule sets from the current role that you may want to load. To load a rule set that is not defined in the current role, use the plus icon Add Rule Sets at the bottom of the Rule Set Selection dialog. Navigate to the Example Rules folder and select Rule Set 230 Property Rule Template with Component Filters. Click Open and then OK to return back to the checking view. Click Check Model so we can see the results. Two property-based rule examples are created, one that checks that all columns that are over 5 metres in length are at least 400 millimetres in diameter. The other checks that all walls, curtain walls, slabs, stairs, doors and windows have their associated PSET common parameter is external defined. Let's use this rule set as a starting point to add additional rules. Access Rule Set Manager from the File menu. Under the Rule Set folders, open the folder Rule Sets Open in Celebri. Notice the new 230 rule set loaded in the checking layout is available under this location. The same rule set is available in the Example Rules folder. Although you can edit this version directly in the workspace, it's not connected to the current model forcing you to overwrite the save rule set file prior to checking and reviewing the changes within a model. Select the 230 property rule template with components filters rule set in the rule sets open in Celebri. Then use the open rule set for editing function in the workspace. Access the example rules folder again and navigate to rule 231 comparison between property values. This rule template is used to compare property values in the same component or different components using the object's relationships. Open the arrow to the left of the rule set and select the rule Doors must be connected to two spaces. Drag and drop this selected rule into our rule set in the workspace view at the top level. This procedure allows you to access previously created rules and reuse them in other rule sets, or as a starting point for similar required rules. Rule set folders can allow access to rule sets created in other locations by loading the containing folder. However, all resources should be created in a consistent location, i.e. the resource root path, so that they can be used correctly in the creation of roles. We will introduce the creation of roles in the next video. Select the doors must be connected to two spaces rule in the workspace view. From the parameters view, we can see that the rule checks doors, sets a numerical comparison value of two against the number of compared components, i.e. related spaces, and ensures that the count is equal to that of the stored comparison value. For this rule, Ensure that the direction value is set to either in the compared components relation. This rule will then fail for any doors that do not have a connection to two spaces. Now that we've edited this rule set, rename the rule set from 230 property rule template with component filters to my second rule set, as it contains not only the rules from template 230, but also 231. Additional folders can be added to the rule set to help organize the rules into subgroups. Create an additional folder by using the new rule set icon and then rename this folder 
building envelope checks. Drag both the external internal status should be defined and the doors must be connected to two spaces rules into this new subfolder. You can move the position of rules and rule set folders using the move row up or down icons next to the save as function. Ensure you use the save as option to create a new rule set in the default rule subfolder. Rename this my second rule set to mimic the name added in the info view. Otherwise it will adopt the original rule set name. Return to the checking layout. In the checking view, you now have your first and second rule sets. Check the model. The rule we've just added shows failures for the doors that have a connection to only one space. At a summary level, the results show four issues. Selecting one of the issues shows the requirement of two is not matched. The info for the individual issue informs the user about the actual count number, in this case, one. Subsequent rules could check these failed doors have a PSET door common is external Boolean parameter value that equals true. These rules can be used to ensure that designers are correctly tagging the right building types with their internal or external location. We will look at this functionality in the rule refinement video, improving both my first and second rule sets. Access the file menu and save your project. Join us for the next video in this series.